This is the second grade 8 video with parallel lines and this time we're going to look at more complex parallel lines and what that actually means is that you've got to incorporate your previous geometry rules in order to solve for all the variables. So remember what we said, as soon as you identify parallel lines, know that you have two pairs of equal angles and you have one pair supplementary angles. And your equal angles were alternate and corresponding. The other thing you should notice is that we have a straight line here and we also have a triangle. So as you can see, there are lots of geometry rules incorporated in this one question. I am going to start with K. So how can I connect K to either 61 or 47? Well, if I look at the parallel lines, we can see that K equals 47 because this line is parallel to that. They're both connected to the parallel lines. They're on the same side of the transversal. Remember, this is the transversal. And so those are corresponding angles. So let's write that up. So we said 47 degrees equals K, corresponding angles. Now I have to look at my parallel lines. Well, I only have one pair of parallel lines. So A, B, remember your order, C, D. So now K equals 47. I go and fill it in. I'm going alphabetically, K-L-M-N-O-P. So let's have a look at P. So how can I connect P to one of the values? If I look at P, P equals 61 because I have zigzag, which are the alternate angles. So P equals 61 degrees, alternate angles. I only have one set of parallel lines, A, B, parallel, C, D. This was not very smart writing it that way. I prefer to write the variables equal to a value, but it is not incorrect. Now I have to find N. So I could use... I could use interior angles of triangles. So N plus K plus 61 will give me 180. That's one solution, but I am going to do angles on a straight line. So I'm going to say, describe the diagram with a plus statement first. These angles are on a straight line. So I'm going to say 47 degrees plus P plus N equals 180 degrees. A G angles on a straight line. Now I can go and fill in P equals 61. So 47 degrees plus 61 degrees plus N equals 180 degrees. I like to simplify here first so as not to make a mistake. So if I add those two together, I will get 108 degrees plus N equals 180 degrees. I need to get N on its own, so I'm going to minus 108 degrees, minus 108 degrees. So N equals 180 degrees minus 108 degrees. So N equals 72 degrees. Go back and check that you have started with your plus statement. Go and check that you have a variable on each line. And when you're happy with that, you know you have solved the rider. For more practice on this, chapter 2, exercise 2.9.